All right, hey everyone. So I was using this before when I first got everything to uh, to start vaping. It's the uh, Smoke Tech Octopus RDA, and uh, the setup that was in it sucked. Um, it was single coil. And it wasn't producing enough vapor or anything to give you good flavor. So I got uh, an extra wick with it when I first got it. And that was a waste because uh, I don't even use the uh, original wick with it. I use uh, cotton now. As... Uh, Everyone knows I'm now switched to micro coils and cotton. Don't no longer use uh, silica. Okay. Really? I need to start using my computer. This is terrible. With uh, the mic actually being connected to my phone. Off, I guess. Don't roll. I just wanted to clean this up a little bit. Yeah, old juice all over on the O ring. I just wanted to. I don't want to mess up my wick though. I ran out of paper towel, so can't use that, but it's fine. Alright, so. Obviously, I can't uh, burn, dry burn this because it'll mess it up because it's got cotton. But I'll show you. The coils. So that's the first one. And that's. Okay, I'm not working here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's the second one. That's the coil setup, how I got in there, or the whip setup. I just got it curled over the back. Like that. And how I got the whole setup on the uh, top cap. Right there. The other one. Oops, wrong way. So that one's there. That very bottom hole right there. That's uh, the original hole. Which I don't use it on the, the base of... Uh, the, the dripper, which is right, right there. I don't line it up with that hole so it doesn't pull uh, air through that right there, which is sealed. So they're not too far spaced because when you put it on there, put it on there, line this up about like that. So, when you look at it, it's on directly on the coil on both sides. <clears throat> now, at first, I didn't, I didn't like this dripper. It was really crappy. The original setup, single coil. Um, no, sorry, I gotta autofocus this. I keep forgetting. <clears throat> okay. So, auto focus. Alright, so 
at first when I got this, the, the, the original coil setup, it was uh, just on this, this one side here. And it was uh, a standard coil, not micro coil. And uh, what was it at? I think it was uh, at a, a 1.8 a 1 or a 2.2. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been a while. But last night, now I've had this dual coil um, set up on here for, for quite a while um, with only a single hole. And uh, I tried to make it to where it would hit uh, the air on both coils. As you see, I have uh, one coil kind of diagonal and uh, a little down set from the other coil across from it. And uh, it was working all right, but it just wasn't enough. So last night I drilled another hole in it, and it's like 10 times better. So I kind of really wanted to mess around with this this RDA before I, I did a review on it. And uh, I got some other uh, drippers coming in. I got some some tridents coming in that I'll do a review on. I'll be doing um, a single coil on the trident, a dual coil, and a quad coil on the trident to give you guys uh, a review on that. But it'll be just a, a quick review for the trident. Um and all the different setups, and then I'll do a, a build for it too on, on camera. But uh, right now I got this uh, pretty pretty dry, just so I could take the cap off and everything, and show you everything that's going on with it. But uh, it's, uh, let's see, it's set at, I believe, 1.7. Yeah, 1.7. So... That would be uh, why can't I think right now? Uh, good three, three point four, yeah, three point four ohms per a coil, and then of course when you use dual coil, it gets cut in half. Um, so. I run it at, I believe, 4. Yeah, 4 volts I'm running it at. Um, and I'm using uh, Caramel Candy from uh, Mount Baker Vapor. It's uh, 20 PG and 80 VG with 18 uh, milligrams of nicotine, 5 extra flavor shots. Um, it's not been steeped. I've just been using it since I got it. Caramel candy is pretty good to not have to steep it. I got some other stuff in there. It's uh, 65 PG and 35 VG, but uh, that's that's steeped and it's really really thin. So I, I tend not to use it. But here, let me put this cap on here and uh, fill it. So with my setup, it's it's uh, without overfilling this is about 10 drops and then I could probably hit it maybe I don't know about 15 times 20 times I'm just gonna should probably let it sit for a second so that uh it gets all over the wick. But uh but yeah, since I've I put that extra hair, air hole in it and they're uh they're two millimeters each hole. It's uh set right there above the coil. Yep, that one's above the coil, that one's above the coil right now. Um so yeah, they're they're two millimeter holes. I had just one two uh one two millimeter hole first and tried to make it hit both coils and it wasn't working good enough. So I put two air holes, one uh in front of each coil and, and now it works really great. Um so I've tried single coil, uh original hole size, which I, I, I don't know what the original hole size is. It's uh still on here 
but it looks really, really small. Um, but I don't even use it no more. I sealed the hole on the inside uh, on top of the, uh, the, the deck uh platform of uh where you build your coil um so now i just have them uh them them two two millimeter holes for the coils and uh it's, it's working great so i i used the original hole with the single coil normal coil didn't work good used it with a uh a micro coil with the original hole and it still wasn't good enough sealed the original hole made a two millimeter hole across from the coil and it and it had a micro coil and it still wasn't good and then uh, I put the dual coil on there with one two millimeter hole and it it was it was better but it wasn't what I wanted still so then I put that second hole on there last night and it's really great now so what I really wanted to do was just make sure I, I tested this enough before I, I did a review for it and am I gonna say that it's the best RDA no is it a good beginner RDA to start building you know single and dual coil um, yeah it, it's a good beginner dripper but it's definitely not a great one in my opinion um, I don't have any other drippers so really I don't know that I can actually say that for you to really believe me but when i get that trident it looks a lot better i've heard that it's really great i've seen a couple of reviews on on this particular dripper and it's it's not the best performing so like i said when i get that trident i'll show you guys um that dripper So like I said, it's not bad. It's just uh, not great. Um, I still, I still, I still like it better than my uh, my uh, Puri tank. I mean, I just for flavor though. I mean, I get a little bit less vapor production out of that out of the tank, but. I haven't really tried like actual flavors out of the tank besides Pluid and and Pluid was good out of it. It's just it's I don't know, it seems like it's not getting enough air to not be as harsh. I mean it's good when I'm at home, but when I'm at work it's just really bad. I think I need <coughs> to get lower nicotine to be able to do stuff like that, though. <coughs> it gets harsh after a while. But, uh...
So yeah, it's that's yeah, that's probably why it started getting kinda dry. But it's it's pretty pretty well to build a coil on it. It's got holes in, in the uh, coil post so you could just, you know, put them in and tighten down the screw and that's pretty easy. Um, I could probably do um, a build on this uh, next week and show you guys the build and show you how easy it is. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a good a good decent beginner dripper. Um, the tridents that I'm getting are definitely a lot more advanced. You can do whatever type you want on it. It's got selectable air holes and everything, so I ain't got to drill my own holes or anything like that. It's the only problem with this one I, I'd have to say is for a beginner, it kind of sucks because you have to kind of do a couple of things to to make it better like drill out your own air holes, make them bigger, and seal that original air hole for it to be a good dripper. Um, so is it necessarily great for beginners? No, it's got you got a little bit of work to do before it's uh, a, de a decent dripper. But messing around with it, I guess, is good for a beginner to, to learn things that you would have to do to other drippers um, that are not um, necessarily set up the best out of the box so i'm i'm gonna say that it's it's all right but would i buy it again no would i re recommend it to anyone probably not i would say you know you could probably get a trident and be perfectly fine with beginning on that so I mean, really, you don't need to even start with this one. But you can. And right now, I got it on here with this, uh, this airflow controller. Because I don't want no air getting in there at all from that original hole. Because I, I didn't necessarily seal it the best way. But it's okay not the best like I said it it, ta it takes some some work to get it to perform good at first it's not a good ripper Still not enough on that wick yet. It's kind of harsh. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably do uh, a build for it next week. And uh, I've still got some time to wait for them trying to come in. They're clones, so they're coming from, uh, from Fast Tech. So it'll be... A little bit longer hopefully I'll have them by next week that'd be nice to to use them start messing around with them for a little while before I uh, actually do uh, review and builds on them but uh but yeah this this does all right Is not good unless it's all over the whip. Too much time to wait. Should have put more in there. Let's see how the whip looks. Yeah, looks alright, but 
still harsh though. probably do the build for this next week and uh, I'll have the tridents in by then and I could do uh, some messing around with them some couple of builds and then I'll do a review for that uh, the week after and do the builds the week after that so uh, See you guys next week.